Okay. Right off the bat. All right. Ooh. I feed him anyway. Feed his weak ass anyway, oh, but yeah. it's okay. Oh, yeah. Great pass. setup. There we go. I already knew. I already knew. Mm hmm. Good, good reach. I like that. I like that, Danny. This is the one time you need to swipe. This is the one time you need to What's be spammer. I don't know what to do, Chris. You always tell me not to reach. <laughs> no, reach today. Reach today on lockdown. All right, 6 3. Feeling pretty good about this. You guys got a nice offensive and defensive flow going. Go back. Yeah, go back. There it mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. That's Megan. it. That's it. Oh, yeah, all day. It must be so nice for Jordan to kick out the open teammates in that green. I'll switch to your spot. Round. There it is. Let's go, Danny. Let's go. Danny, the go. There you go. There you go. Fire that. Good shot. That's it. It's a green bean. Good shot. Kick left corner. Look, I told you, yes. win. What a shot, what a shot. It's gonna be a win. 16 to eight, let's go. Lord have mercy. Good defense. Oh, that's good defense. I like that defense though, Megan. Yep, yep. Good shot. I like that. I see you. I see you. She's on fire. Stay left, stay left, Danny. No. Oh. Okay. okay. Hit me. There it is. Oh, that's a dunk. Oh, that's a dunk. Oh, 2014. Mm. Let's nice. go, Megan. MVP. Right. MVP. Yes. Oh. Told you. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, man. Lord. That's the game. Oh, that's Lord. The game. See? Defensive steal. On a steal. <laughs> you love to see it. Let's go, Megan. <laughs> great this is a great lineup. I'm, I just man, was gonna win. let's I show how much gonna... I played. And man, <laughs> you were all over the court on both ends. Talk about that performance. Perfect build to bring out Everywhere. the down game mode. You gotta have a build that can play defense and knock down those open shots. You got to. Yeah, great ball movement, great defense. That was a fun game, and I love yes. the theater events for this Finally. season. It's always One. switching up the game plan. Then I get, I got two hundred two. Theater's a lot of fun. Well, we're so glad that we started out with a W in our rap party. Yes. Thank you guys so much for joining oh, us. Oh, yeah, they're going to always get a W with get them. That w and being a part of 2K TV and the community as we celebrate our 10th season. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. They need me up in their beat. With analysts no. Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. And we'll so be from DA along the sideline all game long. Look at Cleveland's starting group. The big men on the floor for them. Mobley and Allen. At the guard positions, it's Garland and Mitchell. Oh, yeah. And I'm still in the next service. A1. And for San Antonio. The forwards for them, Johnson and Sohan. Devin Vassell out there with D. And it's Wem Banyama in at the center, locking down the middle. Oh, yeah, I bet and this is a good one. good one on tap tonight between a couple of teams, Greg, who can really like shoot this. the three ball. Uh, That's why I don't play that shit, because my internet ain't that good. When you have teams like this, my it's about be guarding that perimeter. If you don't, they're going to rain on you the Too entire bad. Game. I don't know. I, oh, I got to so get used to the, I don't know. Those games, it comes down to who has the ball last. That shit Here's is real Dean. discouraging, I can tell it's you that. It's Dorland who is really on his game. Nailed from three-point land. Yeah, he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And here is Garland. Get the shit out of here. The rebound by Come on now. And the Spurs with possession. It's a three-point game. Oh, yeah, man. It's Garland with the ball for Cleveland. Want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. Okay, the oh, okay. from home, much easier said than done. They played a terrific ball game. Yeah, and you could see the crowd's reaction with every make. It wasn't pretty. And there aren't many players more reliable. Yeah, I'm going to cook you at home, home, man. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when the D. You can't be trying to show out either, so I'm really going to go crazy on 
Well, the Spurs, Smitty, managed to end their 2023 season on a win, but last in the West, but with hope for the future. You're right, Kevin. Tied for worst record in their conference, but everyone knew that team was rebuilding, and bingo, they got the number one pick, Victor Wimbanyama. two so far from three and there's Garland yeah, that's good Garland. on the assist by Mitchell Garland's got his second basket of the night here's D guarded by Garland and again it's San Antonio with a three and really he came into the game with that long range shot looking great well he could wind up with a crazy number of threes today now, here's <laughs> right now, checking his stats, he's averaging over 23 points a game. Mitchell against Wembenyama. Mitchell's shot is good. Just look at the way Mitchell's built. The strength in the upper body. Here's D, guarded by Garland. Here's D, and again, it's the Spurs from deep. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes in it. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. I mean, beautiful execution of the game plan offensively. So far, oh. they are hitting 80% from the field. Here's Sohan. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. Six on the shot clock. Here's D. Here's Vassell. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. The Cavaliers trail by three. Mm -hmm. Johnson for three. First shot, first pass. He's out of the block. Stands. The really shit. setting the tone early <laughs> with their three-point shooting. Got him. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Here's Allen. Nope. Second chance shot. Hey, come on, man. Give me that. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The that, sir. Give me that. Ball here. Get some well. And so here's Cleveland. Mobley the pass to Garland. Mm -mm. Yeah. Allen in the post. Defended by Wembenyama. Come on, for real, Benyama. And that's what happens when you get after it on the glass. Allen grinding it out and creating that second chance opportunity for himself. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. First personal foul. San Antonio shooting their first free throw tonight. And how about as a group, 80% on the season, one of their best attributes. And the latter half of the season, uh, Greg, in your experience, did the games get easier or harder than it was earlier on? Overall, I'd say it's harder later on. Physically, Spurs, you're more banged up. And, and mentally, it's a long season. First, first, and that can wear on you as well. Team and so it's Cleveland with it. They trail by seven. Pass to Struce. Cleveland moving the ball around. Do it. Mitchell wide open. And another three for Cleveland. Donovan Mitchell looks to pull the trigger whenever he can. I just mm -hmm. love his confidence. I know, right? Here's we are. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. They're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. And you can see Allen's eyes light up when he saw the opportunity for that alley-oop and finishing it off in stock. Here's D. 15 points in the game. 
And again, it's the screen from D. Now that's a high percentage look, and the D doesn't fight over the screen. The reason why it takes extra energy to do it, you have to trust your defensive rotation. But it's worth it. Mitchell finds Allen. Outside Garland. 14 feet away. Uh oh. By the Spurs. Uh oh. They the Pelicans in their last game. Really consistent with their aggression. In that game, we saw very few lulls from an intensity standpoint. A couple things stood out for me. They were relentless. On, and they also played under control. That's a deadly combination. Trying to prove. Here's Garland. A 17-point game for him in the win against Memphis. And the pass to Allen. Mitchell with it. Back to Allen. Uh-oh, banging him. Over when Benyama. Allen uh -oh. shot is off. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. Here's oh, D. yeah, we got a miss me somewhere. For him. To the inside. Right there. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. When Banyama has got five points so far. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Mitchell passes to Allen. Garland feeling it out a little bit. Shot from six. Uh-uh. Oh shit, man. Calm down, sir. Spurs leading by 10. Here's D. Rembenyama, left side. And it's Jerry Starland with the rebound. Off on the layup. This is the shot you want right at the rim. And a shot with deliver. There. Mitchell right side. Shoots over Bissell. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Pass to Wembanyama. Shoots over Mobley. Wembanyama. Oh, he can do that. He's got seven. Showing he's more than just an interior threat. Wembanyama also possesses that reliable jump shot. Hey, Steve, when Zohan has the ball, he is. He is oh, he know because he, he, he. Yeah. The threat not to be out. Yeah, but he's a one-track mind with the ball in his hand. Get to the bucket is his mindset, and he's just as aggressive. That's why they call that timeout. They know the threat about to come out. Like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. Zach Collins checked in for the Spurs. Jones comes in for Devin Vassell. Garland the pass to Mitchell. Garland against Jones. To the paint. Here's Mobley. That drops and it comes off an assist from Garland. Oh, superb pass from Garland. He's all for setting up his teammate. Passes to D. Pass to Wembanyama. Over Mitchell. The Cavaliers pull it in. Allen's got his fourth rebound in this one. Strews passes to Mobley. Oh. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball to into up. the paint. Got a piece of it, of and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Mitchell. Yeah, it out. I'm out. I'm gone now. To the left side wing. Outside Bogdanovich. Shoots over a Coro. Here's Collins. Makes it off the glass. And the Spurs lead by 10. D 
defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Mobley outside. The pass to Levert. Uh -oh. Here's Merrill from deep. Win Banyama with the rebound. Win Banyama has got rebound number five here tonight. Oh, how about the vision by Win Banyama there? Always looking to get teammates involved. So it's the Cavaliers now. It's a five-point game. Uh oh. And so in the game for the Cavaliers. And they're two big men. So you know what I gotta do. And Allen. At the guard spots, we'll see Garland and Lavert. And it's Drews in at the three, the small forward. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Victor Wimbanyama is drawing admirers far and wide, including some who know their hoops, like LeBron James. LeBron says he's for sure a generational talent. Everybody's been a unicorn over the last few years, but he's more like an alien. Nobody has ever seen anyone as tall as he is, but as fluid and as graceful as he is out on the floor. Kevin? Yeah, David, you and I agree. He is different. D passes to Sohan. Well, do your time, man. Eh? Here you go. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Just five to shoot. Here's D, guarded by Garland. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. The nine-foot shot. And the rejection by Rindanyama! Here's D. Misses the three. The Cavaliers trail by five. Now Levert. Get him out. Right open. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. Levert's got his third assist on the night. Pass to D. Lent it go with a three. Hands it from downtown. D's got 24. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. Lined up there for Allen. Damn, Allen sir. It in. <laughs> you really got to hit Allen if you want to Why you do it like so that? Long and strong from there. Here's T. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. <laughs> Why you do you do that bad like that? Just look out of sync, not closing he even jumped at it. In time. Outside Garland. Another three like that. Gradually starting to put pressure on this defense. That's his second from downtown this quarter. Three for the game. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Greg, there's been a scoring surge what that mean? throughout the league. Is I'm just going to come out and hit the three and then give my three the points back. Listen, teams are still defending, and, and the rules might have helped some. There is no doubt that... There's not as much grabbing and holding. But these guys are scoring from all over the court and doing things we've just never seen before. Because it ain't no grabbing and holding, motherfucker. Donovan well, Mitchell checked in for Kara Silver. All right, a chance to check out stats for him. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. There's the triple. Connects again from distance. Big raises. Yeah, ten three points the Unbelievable. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for Cleveland. They trail by seven. Quarter number two around three minutes gone by. There's yeah. the whistle. Uh oh, and there it is. Free. Let's take a moment now to check out the top scores around the league. Angelo D leading the league in points per game. Such a great player. And all you have to do is point to his name at the top of that list. Does that tell the story well enough or what? Got a beat. No, I don't need none. I don't need none. From downtown. 
It's rebounded by Cleveland. Allen's got six rebounds here tonight. On the wing, Mitchell. Back to Garland. And a miss there on the triple. Ooh. Spurs leading by seven. And Banyama passes it down, sir. Back to Wembenyama. And there it is for him. Wembenyama has got 11 points. And this is what you want to see. Wembenyama attacking with authority inside. Wesley against Mitchell. Do it. He kicks to Garland. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. His second foul in as many quarters. We'll see if he backs off or stays aggressive. Vassell, he's checked in for the Spurs. The Spurs have gone 5 of 8 from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. Here's D. He has 30. Yeah, right here. Passes it to Wembanyama. And Wembanyama throws it down. Oh, great decision there. Get it to Wembanyama right. and let Victor finish as the roller. Here's Mitchell. 11-point game. Well, J.B. Bickerstaff, Greg, has done a tremendous job in his time Good with it. his Cavaliers team. It has had him on the winning track since his first Good full me. season with the team. Really getting the most out of this roster. Not for a superstar, but for three guys who enjoy playing the Clean pass by Keldon Johnson to set up the shooter beautifully. What a play. Up there for Allen. Right, it's it's Allen. Oh my Slam lord, again. Assistant. And maybe that'll trigger them in yeah, he baptized the hell out of that boy. After that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are oh, yeah. pumped up. Here's Gwen Banyama. Gwen Banyama is a specimen going at the rim there with a burpee. The Cavaliers trail by 13. Mitchell outside. Allen with it. And it's Johnson picking him up. 13 feet away. Allen shot is off. San Antonio's gone four and seven on three-point shots in the second quarter. So am the pass to deep. Together right quick, so. Down low. There you go. So am. Good D by Mobley. Blew it. Cleveland's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Garland against Johnson. Inside. Here's Mobley. Then hey, drops oh. and it comes off an assist from Garland. Okay. Garland's got five assists in the game. Here's D. 32 points in the game. And they call him a little screen. And now look at Victor Lincoln Young here. He's been dominant over the last month. First in blocks, and he's right there among the most efficient scorers in our league. Third overall oh, okay. in field goal percent. He has been a human highlight reel all season long. Clearly the best shot blocker in the game right now, and he has the numbers to back it up. There's Garland. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Spurs uh. leading by 11. Here's D. It's stolen by Struess. And now the Cavaliers. Fast Back break. It. Oh, and the dunk by Mitchell. Mitchell. I got a feeling Donovan Mitchell will Time be watching this scored. highlight over and over and over. Time called here. The Spurs Ooh, they decide lost? to talk it over. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. Yeah, that's a great point. Without Watching the highlights of a lost game. <laughs> yeah, man, you know, we lost that game, but yeah, man, you see that dunk? something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you've got to play. Spurs making no, a switch here. Be this Bob Donovich has checked in. And Cleveland also making a change. George Niang, he's checked in for Mobley. Here's D, guarded by Garland. Here's D. Once again off the mark uh -huh. by San Antonio. Garland at the elbow. Out to the right wing from the baseline. Niang, that's good. 
Niang has got a second bucket tonight. Know. He can take over or Garland able to facilitate. And he gets wow. caught in the whistle on the Two shot. Feet. Two shots coming up. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. First and what do you guys five. think so far about the offensive approach for the still two feet? And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here? Spurs lead by five. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. What's up, TP? Making a rise in the game. through this one plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far we're seeing tremendous gameplay from D man he's been running wild on him through that first half absolute dynamite on offense this is his challenge to continue to dominate to help them try to close strong here in the second half the cell in the wing along with Johnson Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him and it's D in at the point guard and that's who's in the game for the Spurs. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alder. David. Hi, Kevin. Well, D in that last outing against New Orleans lit up the floor. He scored an amazing number of points, and so much of that damage he does is from long range. He was remarkable in that game. Not often you see a player that dominant, and I'm sure he wants to keep it going. Guys? Thanks, David. Greg, it was obvious. He was having a lot of fun out there. Tremendous victory. I'll tell you, he may have been enjoying himself, but whoever was matched up against him certainly wasn't. What I like is they just kept calling his number. Sometimes we see coaches go away from what's working, and we wonder why. Garland, so intelligent on the floor. The kind of player you want taking over in that pick and roll. And it's D missing. The Cavaliers trail by five. There's Garland. A rebound by Johnson. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Here's D. Drills the three-pointer. D's got 35. You know he's going to take a lot of shots out there. He's their number one option right now. Garland with it. Now guarded by Wem Benyama. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Mitchell finds Garland. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. Here's T. Off target from outside. It's Garland with the ball for Cleveland. Eight point game. And Mobley throws Kevin it down. Mobley. They might be behind, but you can't blame him. He has been spectacular so far in this one. Damn. Here's D, guarded by Garland. What they call that? Here's D. Here's Wim Banyama. Man, you plus two hand that shit. Game. He has only missed the way he dunked on you. Talk often about Wim Banyama's insane lift. There, we see it on the offensive glass. And here's Mitchell from the arc. The rebound by Victor Rembanyama. Rembanyama has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Johnson's shot is off. The Cavaliers trail by eight. Loads it up there for Mobley. What a feed by Donovan Mitchell. Taking full advantage of the weakness in the defense. Here's D. He has 35. Jacks up a three. And again for three. You can tell he is feeling it. Kevin, he's on fire. Pass to Garland. Good, and the assist goes to Mitchell. Mitchell's got his third assist on the night. 
he can light up the night. Garland, no stranger to scoring in bunches. D passes to Wembanyama. Now that bucket. Wembanyama has got 23 points. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, Damn whether to God. pass it. He's your catalyst right now. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And it's D missing. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter. And another one! Once again, he's hit the 40 mark as he has been nothing short of stellar all season long. And now he has moved into third all time for most 40 point games in a season. He's going to start talking shit, then he's starting nut riding at the same, in the same breath. Why? Wow. I, I can't stand this shit about 2K. What a special year. Timeout called Cleveland. Nice game. Great performance by D. Be nut riding him. And then as soon as he start fucking like missing. Two layups in a row. Here you go. Oh man, he been having the worst quarter ever. Good guys. Look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Karis LeVert. Yeah, and looking at his offensive numbers in the past few years, it, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. He's going to have to wait to hit his first triple of this half. He had three at the break. And there's the pass to deep. Fires the three. Hits the three-point line. D's got 44. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Looks smart when the shots are going down. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. And, Greg, you talk about rim projection. Cleveland can really shut down the lane, can't they? Yeah, I mean, they have the personnel to do it. Big front court and big guards who can keep ball handlers in front. Coming into the league, scouts saw the sale as a 3 and D guy, but he's a good playmaker also. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Garland, the pass to Struth. To the middle, here's Mitchell. Their turnaround jumper, rebounded by the Spurs. They have been bored dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Takes the three, and again, it's San Antonio with a three. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Now, here's Garland. He's got 23. And that one, good. Darius Garland's got 10 points here in the second half. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. San Antonio leading by 14. Pass to Vassell. Here's D, guarded by Garland. Spurs working the ball around now. Shot clock at six. Outside for Wembenyama. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. D passes to Vassell, and they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot before second violation. A different look now for San Antonio. Collins checked in for Wembenyama. Bogdanovich comes in for Johnson. And Trey Jones subbed in for Vassell. Lavert's checked in for Cleveland. Bogdanovich against Drews. Outside Garland. Lavert with a wide open look. And another miss by Cleveland. And for the Spurs, they're shooting 56% in this game, really stringing quality possessions together offensively. D passes to Sohan. Good on the shot. And the Spurs lead by 16. Got to do more than this to stop Sohan. Fantastic at powering through the aggressive coverage. Now the feed to Mobley. Unable to get that one. 
and the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. This is what we talk about, valuing each possession, avoiding those kinds of mistakes. The Cavaliers trail by 16. Levert the pass to Mobley. Shoots from 14. Here's Allen. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Trey Jones. Such a force as Allen goes to the line. A, a real throwback. Jared is a center who primarily operates near the hoop. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. And the second free throw, good. And here's Jones. He averages a bit over six points a game. To the inside. Here's Branham. Levert grabs the miss. And so Levert will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Down by 15. Feeds it to Mobley. Here's Merrill. Looking in his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Four on the clock. Three-pointer, Levert sinks the three-pointer. Levert's got 10 points in the game. From range, Levert's one of those guys you have to respect his shot. He makes enough from beyond where you have to honor him. Here's Jones. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Allen's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Levert in the corner. Over Bogdanovich. And the shot is long. San Antonio leading by 12. Goes to the reverse layup and cuts it in. Bogdanovich has got his third basket of the night right there. Cleveland has gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Okoro with it. He's got five. Here's Allen. San Antonio with the rebound. Collins has got his fifth rebound in this one. Osmond. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. And you see the impressive basketball IQ Jones possesses. Keenly aware of when someone is open. In the corner, Okoro with it. Passes it to Merrill. Wound up there for Allen. Stolen by Collins. In transition, here comes San Antonio. And that one's good. Austin. And his teammates appreciate the unselfishness. Bogdanovich willing to get it to his open guys. Merrill passes to Mobley. To stop the run. Tries again. And there's the bucket. Staying with it on the offensive glass. Getting it done. 14 points for him. Man, he keeps San doing Antonio his part. Timeout. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. San Antonio calls timeout. You know, Greg, it's nice to have a big man like Mobley out on the floor with all the things he can do. And Kevin, you got to love his skill set for a seven-footer. Really diverse in terms of what he brings to the table. And then you hear so much praise for his attitude and his feel for the game. What a valuable player to have on your team. Check in for Jones. And let's see which big men have had the softest touch lately with this look at the leading field goal percentages among centers and power forwards in the last 10 games. And you look at Collins leading the league in field goal percentage. He always gets good looks. And, of course, Victor Wembenyama.
doing just as much. Also, someone that shoots at such a high percentage. Top five in the league. And it's one thing to be able to create high-quality shots for yourself, but you still have to finish. And, and there's no doubt all those guys can do both. Every one of them possesses a great touch around the basket. When they receive the ball in good position in the paint, it is just about automatic. Lavert the pass to Merrill. To the paint, here's Allen. Fouled on the Sam shot, Antonio picks up two points. So one free throw Sam coming up. Allen. And not relying Second at all on foul. the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense Shooting a bit completely. like they did in that first Jared half. Allen. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Spurs. They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them, so they have just stuck with the game plan. And we also got to talk about the damage they've done inside. The opposition having a hard time keeping that ball out of the paint. Spurs leading by 12. Here's D. What an incredible scoring display he has put on tonight. Counted good. And Matador defense. That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. And his teammates love this. When Allen is aggressive, trying to score really puts pressure on the opposing defense. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. They're not doing themselves any favors with their free throw shooting this half. They do only one though. And he's good on the second. San Antonio leading by 13. There's 49 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Here's D. Pass to Osman. Good D by Mobley. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. A pass to Okoro. The Cavaliers again can't hit. The Spurs shooting has been terrific. 54% on the game. Here's D. And it's Osman missing. Doesn't register as a block, but he did wow. everything you want defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs. 13 points up at the end of the period. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. You see why they trust him with the ball in his hands. He can make the yep. simple play, and he can pull off the spectacular. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. San Antonio leading by 13, and Cleveland looking at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. At the guard position, see it's Garland and Mitchell. And they're two big men out there, Mobley and Allen. And it's Drews in at the three slot. Here's D, guarded by Garland. And again! And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Shot. 
Shot clock at five. It's up a three. It's good from long range. And that was a little payback for what happened on the other end. Mitchell showing the range. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Here's D. Good! Another from three. He's really sniping them from outside. Rock in, feeling confident in that three-point shot. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. So good at getting his team involved. Cleveland has become a difference maker. Shooting for Cleveland, Darius Garland. Two shots. Both free throws good from Garland. He's living there tonight. A tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Final quarter of play. About a minute and a half off the clock into it. Pass to Wembanyama. It's over Garland. And it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. I mean, a tough matchup. Donovan Mitchell is too explosive, too strong, and he's only going to get better. At the line for the Cavaliers. And so he hits both. San Antonio leading by 12. Here's D inside. So in. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle. So a chance at the line for one more. What a play by Sohan. Basically demanding that his shot get through. First team foul. At the line for your Spurs. Sohan. One shot. about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. The wide open look here for Garland. Off target with his three. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up to San Antonio. Earlier in the game they had a 19 point lead. From past the arc. And it's D missing. The Cavaliers trail by 15. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Marries the long-range jumper. Hey, continue to stack it up from three. He's got two in each half so far. Here's D, guarded by Garland. So am the pass to Vassell. And the officials call him for a three-second three violation. violation. Three good ball. Cleveland's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Garland dishes to Allen. Back to Garland. Rebounded by the Spurs. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. D passes to Wembanyama. Goes up and loses it. That's an easy. Wembanyama has got 25 points in the game. Defenders try to knock Wimbayama off his rhythm, but he knows it's coming, and he's prepared for it. Allen outside. Back to Garland. Three-pointer. And another three for yeah, Cleveland. Not, not, not. Continue from where he left off. First three-pointer of this half, fourth of the game. San Antonio, San Antonio timeout. calls timeout. And Kevin, they've been committing a lot of turnovers here. Taking care of the basketball is the number one priority right now in that quarter. They've got to tighten it up. Spurs fans, give it up one more time for yours. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Launches a three. He got it again. Sensational. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA really taking it to the opposition. Pass to Struess. Here's Mobley. 
Wen Banyama with the rebound. Wen Banyama is. Here's Johnson. Count it. In his bag, Keldon Johnson. Wow. The Cavaliers trail by 16. Mitchell passes to Allen. He feeds it to Garland. Pass to Dean. Now the pass to Sohan. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And here's what the Cavaliers' schedule looks like. On Monday, they'll tip off a homestand starting with the Sacramento Kings. And then on Wednesday, they'll tip off a road trip in Washington where they'll take on the Wizards. And with the way they've been able to march right along in this season lately, I think they should be able to keep things going in this next stretch. Just come out with the same energy and discipline and you should have some wins. It's amazing. No one can check him right now, but there's still work to do to cut into this lead. Pass to Bissell. Here's D. Passes it to Wembanyama. Five on the clock. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Garland with the bucket. Yeah, Defenses try to rough Garland up, and man, it rarely works. Here's D, guarded by Garland. And now the pass break. Mitchell with the ball, pulls up for three. Rebound San Antonio. Earlier in the game, they had a 19 point lead. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. And when you look at a player like Devin Vassell, his massive reach really stands out. GA, a young man with a near seven foot wingspan. Combine that with his quickness, Vassell has potential to be a really remarkable defender. Vassell hits him both. A lottery pick. Devin Vassell has turned into a big time talent. Someone who will be a force in this league for years to come. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. That's his fourth Very foul of the ball. evening. He needs to be careful now. Pick and choose where to be aggressive. Spurs leading by 14. Pass to D. The three. Another one goes. Incredible. Hit that 61 point. Yep, everything is going his way right now. Allen outside. Kicks to Garland. A basket good off the assist from Allen. Garland's got 36. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. The ferociousness from Johnson, able to fight for that bucket. Garland against Vassell. Garland the pass to Allen. Lays it up and banks it in. And Allen's a competitor. He knows what his job is, and he has to be a major presence inside. He has to have the ability to score points down low. Johnson the pass to D. This one for three, and again, it's the Spurs from deep. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Garland, the pass to Struce. It's Allen on the win. Looking for Garland, he gets it there. Beautiful dash, and the layup goes down. The assist. Garland's got 38 points. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. And load the plate. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. And we have to give him props. It's yeah, rare these it. days to see someone dominate the glass so single-handedly. And the spring in his step. He is so quick and, and really tough for defenders to slow Garland down. Here's D. Connects yeah. again. And this game has his name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal in offensive onslaught. Garland, the pass to Allen. Johnson against Drews. Back to Allen. And the rejection by Wimbanyama! San Antonio foul. 
Wanyama. First free throw is good. At the line for the Cavaliers, Evan Mobley. And so he makes both from the line. And with NBA's upcoming broadcasting deal, Steve, starting in 2025, a lot of streaming services vying to carry games. Kevin, yeah, we'll see how it plays out. But with those additional media outlets and the bidding, the sense yeah. is the next deal could be a doozy. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc, a key part of their initiative in this entire fourth quarter. Interesting approach coming down the stretch, looking to rack up points in chunks. And Mitchell is right there. Mitchell. Mitchell's got 10 points now just in this quarter. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Here's D, guarded by Garland. There's the three. And another one falls. Amazing. What a game. That's 72 points. He's been simply, Greg, sensational throughout this one. It's Drews on the wing. Back to Allen. And the rejection by Wembenyama. Floats it up for Wembenyama. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Okay, that's a little good bet. Mitchell passes to Garland. Down low. Got a piece of it. Now, Vassell. Players we know get mic'd up now, Steve, so we can get some insight to their talking on the floor, on the bench. How would that have gone over in your day? Well, you know, Kevin, we got mic'd up. I did not like it. Uh, you felt funny having just extra stuff that you had to carry around. But I love to hear the communication that goes on in the game now, sitting on this side. And, and hustle like that is why he leads his team in rebounds tonight. Controlling the glass helps them maximize their number of possessions. He's done everything he can do to help them in that area. Wembanyama, no good. Wow. And so Garland will bring it up for Cleveland. There's the pass to Mobley. And they get it. Garland, no good. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here yep. for San Antonio. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. Oh, yeah, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And on the year, looking at their record, this game will make it 49 wins. A two-game season series. They win them both and complete the sweep. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for D. I thought he did a good job of filling out the defense early on. Then once he found his groove, he stayed aggressive throughout. A kick out to Mobley. Win Banyama with the rebound. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. Johnson inside. Defended by Struis. And it's sent back by Allen. And how about, and with that great length and awareness, Allen continues to build his reputation as a shot blocker. Mitchell outside. And so it's San Antonio. He easily taken this one. They put it out tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that love every minute of it. And you know, this game could be.